Look, boys, we've had the first deliveries through the Strugglers post box. I was beginning to think that uh, this post box thing ain't working because it's been that long since I set it up and people have been saying, that I've, I've sent you some stuff, Chris, and I haven't received it. Oh. So let's have a look what we've got for the Strugglers post box. What's through the Strugglers post box today? <laughs> My girl's there, look in around there. She's interested about what's in the parcels. If there's anything she can eat about. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. My girl. Oh, well, that's good, though. Oh, that's, that's good. That's a socket ratchet, though. It is. I've never seen one that before. No, that's why they sent it. Isn't it? 19 mil. Oh, 22 mil. Yeah, Steve Riley. Cheers, Steve. Thank you. Oh. I shall put that to some use, I will, Steve. That's good, that. And it's a podger as well, look. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. What have we got in it? Oh, rubber mallet lot. Oh, oh crushed it. Oh, look at that. That's a proper one, that is. Yeah. Look at that beast. Yeah, you always want to. Feel the weight of that, my girl. Ooh. I think it's a two hand job, this one. I know that's off. That's off Diesel Hats. That's who that's off. He, he sent me a message. Uh, Cheers, Diesel. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, mate. That's a proper good one, that is, isn't it? Thank you, lads. All right, morning, boys and girls. Uh, I'm off to a late start this morning because oh, I've been up all night editing, and I'm on the edit struggle again. You know, because obviously this weekend, what I've had that skin flint challenge, I've had two lots of footage. I've had mine and Luke's, uh, and my editing, my live movie, it was glitching on my phone. It always glitches halfway through editing the movie. It's got lag on it, like a like a few seconds lag. But that few seconds, you know, when you're waiting for something, when you click on something, you're waiting for it. Oh, does your head in. So I bought a new iPad. Spent £319 on a new iPad because obviously my storage is well on the phone. Uh, and that's exactly the same when you're editing. So all last night, twitter about, pressing stuff, waiting, doing it, waiting. Oh, honestly, there must be an easier way, you know. You know these people that are up on the technology and that? I mean, I even rang one of my mates this morning because I was struggling that much at doing my head. And I said, there must be an easier way than this mush. Because he works on a computer. He says, yeah, you need to get yourself a laptop or a proper computer and do it. Because obviously on your iPhone and iPads, there's not enough like gigabytes, megabytes, whatever bytes. I don't know, whatever it is. Uh, so I'm off to now. I'm off to uh, Nottingham now to go and see D&J. All right. All right. Uh, I'm off to Nottingham now to go and see D&J Projects. He's got a uh, brake servo for his forklift. So we're going to go and fit that. And there's another job and all that's come through. He emailed me. He's based in Nottingham. He's got forklift problems as well. But he's losing fluid on his brakes of his forklift. So we'll, uh, we'll go and see D&J. We'll go and do that job. And then we might pop in to this other job and all the field time. Let's get a skit on. Let's go and earn some money instead of twatching around on computers all day and night. Struggle on, Chris. Struggle on. And I am the struggler. Oh, I wonder if that little JCB's got any oil leaks still. I can't see any patches on the floor just as he's moved. I've just asked here if sick note's been all right. He says, yeah, it's been fine. Bloody good show. He hadn't pulled a sickie this week. Must have cured the oil leak on her. Right, we've got this job, look here. Uh, he's got a servo and a brake master cinder for it because the brakes go spongy. Like they're losing fluid, but they're not losing fluid. So we assume, assumption, the mother of all, it's that up there. You see that? And it comes with the servo as well. Yeah, cheers guys for your comments about this. Uh, a lot of useful information, you see. This is why I like posting on YouTube, because say if you're struggling on summits, you guys have always got some ideas, haven't you? So yeah, we're gonna change that first, and then we'll bleed the brakes, and then just see, see how they go, innit? Play it by ear, as they say. Or play it by foot. <laughs> Right, where's Dave? I need a new part. Where is he? Dave, where are you? Where is everybody? Everybody's out on site, apparently. Huh. What's he done with a new part? 
David? Stevie? Anyone? Right, oh, just got the stuff there off Jamie. Uh, needs a grease nipple all in the teleporter handler. Tele. Tele. The boom thing. It needs a grease nipple in that. Needs a mirror. And we've got that bad boy lot. Cush little do. Let's go and get the machine up here. Let's start. Aha. Andy's got me the filters. What is Jamie's a good lad, isn't he? Oh, shit it. I was meant to pick up some engine oil, wasn't I? They'll be somewhere around here, won't they? Right. Let's get in this beast. Where's the forward and reverse? Well, where's that brake? Huh? A mechanical handbrake. I'd like it. I'd like it a lot. Where did you go? I thought that was forwards and backwards, it's the indicator. Look. So where's the gears? Have we got a gear stick? Do we have gears? Oh, we're on this lot. Weird, isn't it? I forgot I've got no brakes, have I? Yeah, I have now, now I've pumped the brake up, look. Right. I don't want to bang into the struggle boss, do I? I've already reversed into a wheel, alright, you can see me bonnet. I was doing that rushing around. You know what it's like when you're rushing? Right, that'd be easier to get to if the articulation was to the right, wouldn't it? So let me move it to the right. A little split pin there, look. Well, there. Little split pin. What we got under here? Brake pipes and then a four bolt hole mounting on top there. Pretty simple, let's go. Just been searching around for a bloody 13 mil. What's the crap with these 13 mils? Hey, the most popular spanner in the country, 13 mil, most, com most common size spanner. You buy a 13 mil, you use it once, it, it goes. It goes to 13 mil heaven or something. So there must be a load of 13 mils somewhere all having a massive party and laughing at us. Because whenever I buy one, whenever I get one, it's gone. Use it once, gone, gone. 13 mil heaven. Oh, don't fit anyway. 916. That's ill fitting. Where's 14 mil? 14 mil. Great, is it? What size are these? It's done it, but it's not great. These little storage containers do come in handy, you know. Little oil drainers and that, they're perfect. Right, that pin at the top, four mounting bolts should come out. 16 mil, four mounting bolts. The little dog's not doing his job very well, is it? There, tooth removal. Tell you what, first time I've ever worked on one of these machines, and underneath, look, they don't look bad, you know. They look pretty simple, don't they? Look. You know what I mean? Everything's like accessible, isn't it? Get the new one. Nah, rod length. I'll get my tape measure. You see that? That's not far enough out than that one. So I need to take this yoke off here because it's got a longer collar lock. Look how the threads are in lock. So I'm going to have to take this yoke off here and put it on there. 
I call it a yoke. I don't know what the professional name is, but that's what I call it. I don't know what's happening, but something's hindering my progress. I know why I'm struggling. Look, that's off centre. I thought that's how it's meant to be. I've just looked at the old one. Not off centre. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this servo, the old servo off this one uh, and put it on the new master cylinder and fit that one because there was nothing wrong with the servo. It was the master cylinder fault. I'm hoping anyway. We'll change it and find out, won't we? I need to change the yoke back again. I wonder I was bloody struggling, couldn't get it in. Hey, wrong bloody part. Even the simplest of jobs aren't straightforward, are they? Is that day there? You're going to ask how I'm going, aren't you? Struggling, mate. Struggling, mate. Struggling. Struggling. Alright, get some cable cars, tarp them loose ends, and then I'll have to bleed, bleed the brakes. There she flies, there she flies. Let's get bleeding. Dave's got me some dot fall up. Push little do. My job, get the engine on. Not a guy. There's a place down the road, he just said, not far away. Well, I'm just going to strike her up and pump her a bit. Uh, then I'll have to go and grab someone to uh, pump the brakes while I bleed him through. Oh, I pump right down! Yeah? Oh! I'm going to use this lot. This is my homemade bleeding device. I was out on site once doing some, a clutch it was on a Scania, and I had to bleed it and I had no one to help me and I found this in the scrap. So I mackled this together on site. I was quite proud of myself because it was a, it was a little mackle together job just to get me out of mischief. But I've had it on my van, I don't know, five year now, well, maybe even more, eight year now. And I use it from time to time to bleed up brakes when I'm on my own and that. So I'm going to try and bleed it uphill now instead. Instead of downhill, I'm going uphill. So I'm going to put some brake fluid in that and then pump it and it pumps through, but you've just got to keep an eye on, on this and you've got to keep an eye on the level in the thingy. You've got to suck it out and the reservoir because you don't want it overspilling and going everywhere, do you? So you've got to keep an eye on that, that it's not too full of overspilling and keep an eye on this, that it's not too low and pushing down air. It's all right, but you need about five amps to work it. Do you need to hold the pipe on? And hold this and pump it. Yeah, that'll do. Do all four like that. Oh, I got rained off there for a minute because it did absolutely piss it down and all. Even for me, it was too bad. I thought, oh, suck that. Let's go and sit in the van for a bit. Uh, but I've just done it all, obviously, with my self made little bleeder, and it's still got no pedal. And Keith on the comment says it could be adjustment of your brake shoes. You know, if your brake shoes are out of adjustment, uh, and when you press the pedal down, it's taking it up, but obviously there's not enough fluid there to expand all the way out. So I'm just going to check, make sure the brake shoes aren't out of adjustment. There should be a spile in the back plate. I'm open anyway. Right, I'm just going to get my screwdriver in there and see if it's out of adjustment. I was hoping there'd be a spy hole here where the brake shoes meet the brake drum, but of course there's not, is there? So I've just got to uh, adjust this up here. There's a little cog lock through this hole what you have to 
Let's see if I can show you. There, look, you see that cog? And you have to get your screwdriver in and turn it. It's a bit hard to show you and do it at the same time. You just gotta make sure you're going the right way. There, she's rubbing that. She's tight now. Right, now let's back her off a bit. I'll tell you what, Keith, there was there was a fair road amount out there, was, you know? I don't know whether the pedal's up now. I'm going to do the backhands. Because I, I was going for ages before it tightened up. Freaking ages. So whether it'll fix it or not, the brakes still needed adjusting. Right, let's do these backhands. Right, I've had my phone on charge, that's why I didn't record what I was doing. I've adjusted these brakes up. There was miles out, you know. There was like... Look, I'll show you. Look. Can you see that thread coming out? That thread uh, has come out of that hole. So when you turn it, the th you'll see the thread coming out. If the thread goes in, obviously you're going the wrong way. Uh, but you know that thread that you can see, that 10mm thread or 12mm thread, that's how much, that was all the way in before, and I've, I've screwed it out that far by adjusting it. Same with the backs, the backs seemed even further out. Uh, they they was like 12, 14mm out. I kept turning it, turning it, I'm looking at it thinking, yeah, thread's coming out, but it's not hitting out. And then all of a sudden, yeah, the wheel tightened up, couldn't move it anymore. Slackened it off, job's good. And so that's how you adjust your brakes and tell if you're going the right way or not. Look through the back plate, look for the thread, uh, if you see the clear, the clear thread coming out, you know you're going the right way, you know it's expanding that to bring the brake shoes closer to the drums. Right, let's see, uh, let's see if we've got a pedal. Well, we did have a pedal before, obviously, but I doubt, well, I mean, they was way, way out, they was. Oh my God. Oh my God, Keith Day. I've got a freaking pedal now. Wow, Keith. I tell you what, it's a fucking good job you put that in the comments, you know, because I'd have been scratching my head. But as you said, it, it, it's like a lorry in a way. You you get a break out of adjustment on a lorry, it'll be just fully stroking and not doing out. And that's what the, these uh, them pistons were doing. They were fully stroking and not doing out. The brake shoes weren't touching the drum because it was that far out of adjustment. Much appreciated that bit of advice, mate. And much appreciated for everyone else. Obviously, I thought it was this uh, this this breaker servo and the master cylinder on top. It was the brake side of adjustment. Or it could have been a bit of both. Either way, it's got pedal now, hasn't it? Oh, she's got pedal. Right, let's see how keen these brakes are. Oh, we stop. We bloody do. Hello, ready? The pedal lot is so high up, look. How high up the pedal is? Oh. It's got an air filter for this. And an oil and a fuel filter. You have to take that framing off, don't you, to get that air filter out? I know you do. The love the split pins. Got split pins for everything here. Got a split pin through that lot to hold that on, the feckin' wing nut on. Now they've got a split pin to hold the nut in to hold the air filter on. on the hard rock. Told you. It's in the cab. I've taken this off here. Learned to ride and when my feet had touched dry land, how happy I did feel. Put the split pin in because you don't want the air filter wing nut coming out there. And then you put this on. Been saving every penny for to make up through the fall. Them air filter bolts aren't going anywhere. But I never had to Coming around the river banker, the old train was so sane. The very next thing you hear from me, I've been tied to a I do like these, I do. No drive by wire here, boys, look. Simple in it.
bit of valence wine. No sensors and all that shit. But alternator, starter motor, my clutch fluid. Where's all the sensors? Hang on, don't we need sensors on all that? Don't we need sensors on start motors to sense it that it's a start motor? Hang on, this can't be right. There's no sensors on the pump. But, you know all them shitty sensors that like, need to like, you know, sense stuff. Where's that? How's this engine work without all that shit on? Nowadays what they have, isn't it? This is modern though, isn't it? I like it. I like it. It may be bloody cheap, but I like it. Now we change the oil filter. But I'm gonna go get some uh, engine oil first before I drop that filter and enjoy all that. I've got that engine oil, finally. Fucking snorting up the traffic. Dave said, oh yeah, there's a place that sells engine oil just around the corner. Uh, you know, just a bit like a fucking half a mile away. Well, fucking traffic round here, Jesus Christ. I got my engine oil from this place and I says to lad, there's that McDonald's down there, I'm right parking here. Anyway, went to that McDonald's, just walked there, just down the road. Fucking Just Eat people, that's all that's in there. These orange people, them Just Eat. Obviously we don't have this Just Eat where I'm from. Well, I don't see them very often, all right. But there, they're going in and out all, all the time. All the time I was there, they're going in and out. Boom, 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 boom. Just eat. Get it out from Nashville. On the hard Right, let's go and uh, change these uh, oil filters and engine oil. But I've treated myself up to a new jug. Because my other one got crushed. Poor jug. Oh, <laughs> okay now. Fuck <laughs> it, it gets worse, doesn't it? Hey? Some would say, if you had a guard on that, <laughs> that was hey, a bad thing. If you had a guard on it, 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 Right there, it should be right where I've left it in the toolbox. Mm. Somebody seems to have moved it. There. See? In the see? toolbox. Exactly where it was. Exactly, you see? <laughs> <laughs> the same place everything else is what I've just used. I couldn't find the forwards and backwards, could I? Oh, it's on there, so Yeah, it's on there. I found it's it. Jet, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I know, it's I thought that I was looking it's on here. Up. I even did that in plot, I was doing that one. No, not doing it. And then I saw that flash and thinking, wow, well, well, <laughs> that ain't forwards and backwards, is it? Tiny bit, isn't it? I've got an extractor in there. As you said, the pedal's ever so high, isn't it? No, I, know. I know, you can't think, you, yeah. It needs to be over there. It does, yeah. That pedal should be here. It, you, you, you're onto that, ain't you? When I drove it, I thought, where do I put my foot? Yeah, the pedal needs to be here, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah. You need a size 3 foot. The little... That's it, <laughs> For little people's feet, that is, yeah. yeah. How are they, or are they? Yeah. It's time for them. I reckon... You see that knob? There, lock. That's the tip of my finger. There should be a pedal stop there, like a bolt like does in there. So then that lever hooks up to it. Dave says it's always been there. The pedal's always been up there, but I reckon uh, where they're from manufacture, I reckon it's meant to have a pedal stop in there. Because that, that foot brake pedal is way high, isn't it? It's like bizarre, it's that high. You may as well be on the bloody moon. Bolt in it. Yeah, you see it? Yes. But obviously it must have been like that since you've had it. That wee bit. <laughs> oh, that's from, oh, that's from back of there, isn't it? I bet that's from this bit, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is not. I've just launched it. Yeah, I don't I've got some in there. A wee bit. Quite a wee bit, don't I? The wee. <laughs> <laughs> wee. Wee bit. See ya. 
Better than, than none at all, isn't it? Anything's better than nothing. We've got a little rubbing plate that's missing two bolts and all. See that rubbing plate there? It's got two bolts at the front there. But Dave says two bolts missing at the back here. They've rattled loose or something. Come out. Flat pack furniture up and you end up with bits. Oh, yeah. Play without you there, wee bits. So you go, they come up and you go, wee! <laughs> 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 this guy's. <laughs> then we get leftover bolts like we always do. Dave says they're called wee bits. Oh, they're not gripping, are they slipping? Yeah, this one's slipping. Was it yeah, it, it'll, it should be on some splines like it yeah, should. Yeah, the splines are gone. Are they gone? Yeah. So I try gripping it with a nut either side. Well, yeah, you've got the best idea there, haven't you, really? All right, now. For small people, eh? <laughs> it is built for small people, isn't it? <laughs> no. It does. <laughs> Look at Dave, like a giant in there. Like, you know. Look, that's right. <laughs> We've always said. Small. <laughs> oh, no. the, it's, it is built for tiny people, isn't it? I reckon it's built for kids, you know. Whisper. Our arch and Ernie, they love it. They can fix everything on it, get into places, they can do the whole. Brilliant, isn't it? I think we've done it. I think we have an all. Come on, Bodge, come on. That was a good bodge, Dave, that. I, I, can't, I can't bodge it any better than what you've bodged it. Isn't it? Did you I know, it doesn't sound very professional bodging, does it? Some, it needs something more, you know, professional. Right, that'll do, won't it? Dave's a happy little chap, eh? He cleared up a few more jobs of him. That took it uh, longer than what I thought it would take. Uh, I was obviously meant to go and do that job for that other bloke uh, after I finished this one, because I didn't think it was going to take that long. But uh, it, it did do, obviously. It, it, it was a struggle, wasn't it? Remember, if you haven't already checked them out... If you pass these lights, then at the roundabout, take the second exit onto the A6514. Okay, I'm going to do... Bloody hell, I'm just talking then. It's the roundabout, take the second exit. There, took it. Happy? It's the next lights, turn left. Right, what I was going to say was, if you haven't already, go and check out Dave's channel, Dave and Steve, eh? There's Dave the dad, Steve the son, family run firm, d &J Projects. They're on YouTube, check them out, good lads. Thank you, Satnav, you let me speak. For God's sake, I can't get a word in edgeways. I'll make my way back home now, it's Friday! Woo -woo -woo. Let's go home and let's enjoy the weekend. Have a good weekend, boys and girls. I'll see you on the next one. Catch you in a bit. Woo woo! See you later. See you later, alligator in the wild crocodile.